Hello everybody, my name is Joy and welcome to British Weather, made by the team underneath that that is very small, by Greg Bogenan, by Ashley Reza, by Reese Banbury, by Nathan White, and music by John Leonard French. Okay, sorry, I had to lean in for that to read it. Now, um, if you've seen a couple of videos ago, I played Paper Brexit, and Paper Brexit was made by Greg Buchanan, so that's how I got to this game. Um, that was a very interesting concept. This one is more about changing people's lives, maybe for the better, maybe for the worse. That's all I could make up out of the description. So without further ado, without further talk, let's see. You meet a policeman, your sister, and a lollipop lady on the way to work over two days. Make them feel better or worse about themselves and change their lives. Change your speed and change the weather. A and D. Okay, go to work. Day one. Okay, I can move backwards, but it just... Okay. See, any secrets? Any secrets in advance? No? Okay, well, as you might have been able to read... Oh, there's a bus. As you might have been able to read, um... This game was made for a gem, that's what I wanted to say. So this game was uh, made in a very short amount of time. I believe it was 24 hours. The policeman will looks upset as you approach. What's wrong? Good morning. There's been a crime. Oh my, I gotta have to make decisions here, uh huh. Okay. How about just a friendly... Nah, good morning is so, so, so general. I mean, he probably will just respond with good morning. There's been a crime? Well, that would be lying. I mean, that would be like calling 911. Let's just ask straight up what's wrong. He looks down at his shoes. It's just one of those days, he said. What do you mean? He seems upset. All this, every day, waking up to the same old thing, having, having to do a job no one likes me for, no one thanks me for, having to do it again and again, he sighs. I don't know. Why do you do it then? I don't know, I feel safer with someone like you around. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't know, I feel safer with someone like you around. Really? He's surprised. I thought a lot of people hated the police these days. Oh god, this is actually quite relevant. Well, not you, you're a good man. A lot of people hate a lot of things. A lot of people hate a lot of things. He smiles with an edge. That's true enough. He seems to wake up a bit. I need to get back to my beat, but thank you, I'll see you around. End of story. End of story. Bye bye. Okay, I don't know what that little orange thing is at the top of my uh, screen. Is it my progress bar? And there's a lady, is that my sister? Your sister looks miserable. Why are you out here in the rain? Why indeed? Shouldn't you be working on your essay? How's it going? Let's just ask how's it going, I mean. Let's not belittle her immediately. It's not going at all, she sighs. I'm so behind on this essay. I can't. What's your essay about? Actually, it's about ethics in video game characterization and identification. How much have you written? Ah, cool. What games are you writing about? Ah, let's be interested. Bioshock 1, 2, Infinite, um, Heavy Rain, Assassin's Creed, Tomb Raider. Those are all interesting games. You should talk about... The Lara Croft interview. You should talk about that weird ass Creed Arno drunk thing. What? I don't know what that's about. I don't know what either of those is really about, but let's let's go with Lara Croft. The one where they said we didn't control Lara, but we protected her? Yeah, you love that shit. Write about that. Hmm, maybe I should go home and get some more of this shit done. That's the spirit, or go to the library. Um you could do both, I guess. Oh, that's the spirit. Let's encourage. Uh, she smiles nevertheless. I guess. Uh, maybe I should have told her to go to the library so she could do more research and get inspired. But anyway, let's go about our day. The lollipop lady is grinning. What are you so happy about? The beam spreading her... She beams, spreading her arms wide to embrace the rain. All this, she cries. Aren't you cold? You look soaked. She shakes her head enthusiastically. I can never be cold again. Why can't you be cold? Well, my lord and savior, of course. Oh, you're religious. Oh, good for you. Um, well, let's talk about religion. Let's not do that. You say that like you pity me, she says. No, that's not what I meant. 
But you are a knave. I know the future. I have a wonderful destiny. I like how positive you are. Yes, I do like how positive you are. Thank you, she says. So, what religion are you exactly? Yeah, let's ask about that. The other one was about, no, I gotta go. Oh, my lord has many names. She's... She lets out a little laugh. Like nails scraped along a chalkboard. Many of them quite hard to utter with a human tongue. He sends me many dreams. Well, keep leaving those dreams and never give up. Oh, you're in a cult. Oh god, that's a difficult one. I mean, I guess it's not entirely up to me to, like, if she would be in a cult that, you know, I, I mean, this doesn't really... I mean, if she was in a cult, she'd probably be handing me a pamphlet by now, so... Well, keep living those dreams and never give up. Even death may die, she cries. Ah, the children are here. I must escort them across the road. Good day to you. End of story. See? She's just, you know, she may be a little eccentric, but, you know, she's contributing to society, she's happy, so... Why make a problem out of that? Why would it be up to me to tell her what's right or wrong? You used to dream of what you might become, whether you'd end up being a fireman or a detective or a film star, or perhaps all three. A world of categories, a clear of clear vocations, the policeman stands there, as he always has and always will. Hi. I guess hi. Why not? Why wouldn't I talk to him? Hi. He doesn't really look up. Are you okay? He seems upset but says yes anyway. He doesn't say as much else. Things will be okay. You just have to be positive. Oh god. I hate it when people say that. Like, I understand you mean well, but that is so obnoxious when somebody is obviously upset. Maybe, maybe I'll just leave you alone for this, because it goes against everything I like to say that. As you go, you think about your work. You wonder if you're happy doing what you do, but you push the thought aside. It doesn't matter anymore. Not with, not with what you're thinking of doing. Thinking of doing? Oh no. What am I thinking of doing? That doesn't sound good. I have to say though, every single game, well actually only two, but it's very British themed always. And it's always like cheerful but somewhat sad at the same time. I I'm referring to Paper Brexit, of course. I, I don't know all that much about the other developers. And here's your sister. She knows you better than anyone. And so, of course, she hates you. So I'm amazing and I totally get that essay done. Field defining work. I accept all accolades, accolades that will be bestowed upon me, etc, etc. Just imagine if you had more time. That's great! A whole chunk of my essay got missed out, but hopefully it'll all make sense anyway. To use a metaphor, it's like I made an overambitious branching nar narrative for a games jam and accidentally deleted the second day conver conversation she coughs. That's a pretty specific metaphor, yeah. Anyways, enough about me. Today's the big day, isn't it? I guess? I have no idea what they're talking about. You should have quit this job ages ago. I'm really proud of you for finally doing it. Oh, thank god she's quitting her job. Okay, I won't have to do this walk anymore, I guess. I can finally focus on my dreams. Ah, oh, let's do that one. Knock him dead. She pats you on the shoulder awkwardly and as you walk off, you feel closer to your little sister than you ever have. End of story. Alright. This is a lot more cheerful than I thought it was. Maybe that says a lot about me, but... The lollipop lady seems to be waiting for you. So, you've been talking. You, what do you mean, or you're really weird? Okay, let's say, what do you mean? The policeman, for example. You've been talking to him a great deal. What's it to you, or it's none of your business? Well, those are both, both aren't very friendly. What's it to you? Why do you even talk to him? Why do you talk to me? I'm trying to be friendly. But have you not noticed how the very sky alters as you communicate? How feelings change the cosmos. Oh yeah, I can control the weather, no biggie. Yeah, that's what it said in the description, but can I? Can I alter the weather? What? You have powers beyond imagining. Powers that could be a harness to, for my dread lord. What? Uh... Well, I was on my way to quit my job, so... Or never. Well, I was on my way. I will pay for your insolence, the loll lollipop lady purse. But we are patient. We will wait. I'll stop you. But you can't. 
The game's jam is out of time. You will forever remain in that building, forever trapped in this world. Shit, that's depressing. What can I do? What can I do? Well, I don't think your job title has been mentioned at any point. Would you like to choose that? What do you want to be? Oh god, this is getting meta here. Is that the right term? Games developer, actor, or tracer from Overwatch? Uh, let's see. This one, tracer from Overwatch, would basically mean that everybody would be talking about my ass. So I'm not too sure about that. Actor sounds interesting. Games developer is... Sounds fun. I mean, that's what I wanted to be when I was little. You say goodbye to the lollipop lady. Servant of dark powers. Soon you will be in your office, forever trapped in a world of numbers and bugs, of disciplines colliding and transforming, of microtransactions. And you think you deserve this. And a story. What did that mean? Oh my, this is kind of confusing. The end? What? Okay, I'm not fully, fully getting what this game is getting at, but I also feel like I've missed out on a few things. So I'm gonna go play it again, and I'm gonna go about it in a bit of a different way. I'm gonna be a douche to everyone. There's been a crime. He blinks in surprise. What, really? Yes, wrongdoing is afoot. Nah, I was just messing about. Yes, wrongdoing is afoot. He looks skeptical. Wrongdoing? Are you, are you taking the piss? No, really, there has been a crime. What sort of crime? Theft. When I was on the tube. The steady erosion of traditional values. Oh my god, no. I was stolen a bike, money, my heart. I don't want to mess with him because that's terrible, but... um. Oh well, I said I was going to be a douche already, so my heart. He stares at you. Yeah, I'm really excited about it all. Oh, you got a new boyfriend or something? No, I started playing Pokemon Go. Oh my god. <laughs> Even in the deepest of indie games, I am not safe. Don't get me wrong, I like I like Pokemon Go. I mean, for as far as I know about it, I haven't played it because it's not available here. But anyway, yeah, something like that. No, a new girlfriend. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Oh, congratulations, I guess. You don't sound happy. He seems upset. All this every day, waking up to the same old thing, having to do a job no one likes me for. Okay. Um, why do you do it then? This is what I always wanted to do. My dad, he was in the police too. I don't know. If you don't enjoy it, stop. I'm sure he'd be very proud of you. Well, yeah, if you don't enjoy it, stop. I can't just stop. I have a wife, I have kids. When they want you to be happy, he sighs. I, I don't know, I need to think. He turns to go, thank you. Thank you for listening. Oh, I think it's just got worse. I didn't really pay attention to the weather at first, but it seems to have gotten worse. And there's my little sister. Your sister looks miserable. Why are you out here in the rain? Shouldn't you be working on your essay? Shouldn't you shut the fuck up? Man, you have a lot of language. You're such a tiny girl. I thought your essay was due tomorrow. Wow, she smiles. Now that you've pointed that out. Well, gosh, all my problems are solved. Thank you so much. No need to be sarcastic. I'm sorry, how's it going anyway? No need to be sarcastic. I'm sorry, she says, but it continues scowling. It's just this fucking essay. What's your essay about? Actually, it's about ethics and video game characterization and identification. How much have you written? Ah, cool. What games are you writing about? How much have you written? I'm trying to pick the other options here. Fuck all, she's not. So fuck up. So far. So I've got 2,000 words, but it's all really note for me and not sensical to anyone other than me. Well, you made a good start of it. At least I can proofread it if you want. Um, I can proofread it. I don't need your help. She pauses. I'm sorry. It's just you always try and rescue me. I'm just concerned you can't afford to do poorly here. I know, I'm sorry too, you'll be fine. You're always, you always are. You can't afford to do poorly here. I'm just concerned you can't afford, oh, sorry. Uh, I can't be arsed with any of this. Please, Rachel, you can't do this to yourself. It's your life. Um, okay, that can mean two things. You can't do this to yourself. I can't kind of relate to this character at this moment because I'm working on school as well. And at times it is just incredibly stressful. Well, I clearly can. She checks her phone. Don't you have somewhere to be? 
Look, yeah, apparently I did some reading trying to figure out what to do and if I could control the wet weather with a button or something. But I, apparently it makes me walk slower and that thing at the top, the orange thing, is apparently a timer that I have to be in time for work. What are you so happy about? She beams, spreading her arms wide to embrace the rain, all this. Aren't you cold? Why can't you be cold? Good for you. Thank you, she says. So what religion are you exactly? Look, I, I gotta get... Wait, I, I want to talk the cult option. Oh, you're in a cult. Humanity itself is a cult. Faithless divorced from the cosmos. You will meet your true end, she pauses and smiles. Ah, uh, the children are here. I must escort them across the road. Good day to you. Alright. Yeah, I'm walking very slowly right now. Work. End of day. Oh, it's a way lighter rain right now. Is this how it started out on that day? You used to dream of what you might become. Whether you'd end up being a fireman or a detective or a film star or perhaps all three. A world of categories, of clear vocations. You walk past a stranger and feel a little startled when he calls after you. Hey, wait! You stop and it takes you a moment to realize who it is. It's the policeman from the day before. But he's out of uniform. No, he's not. You quit your job? Good for you. Or oh wow. You quit your job? He nods enthusiastically. Yes, I thought a lot about what you said yesterday and well, I decided to quit. What are you going to do? Aren't you scared about the future? Oh god, well, I said I was going to be a douche and I should say, aren't you scared about the future? But I kind of want to know what he's going to do. He looks uncomfortable. Well, I was thinking of taking some time off at first. Spend some more time with my family. Aren't you worried about earning enough? You should do it for yourself, not for them. Great, you must be really excited. Well... He doesn't necessarily just, just do it for himself. I mean, if you want to spend time with your family, then technically you are doing it for yourself. I mean, I get what she's getting at. You gotta be a good, happy person yourself before you can think about sharing that with others. But, okay. Aren't you worried about earning enough? I've got savings. I'll, I'll figure something out, he pauses. I've done enough for other people. Oh my, you will, just be positive. That doesn't really sound like a plan. That doesn't really sound like a plan, especially if you have kids. You're very judgmental, he looks upset. I don't think you know what it's like to do something day to day and hate it. To hate everything that you are, or maybe you do. I don't know, why do you do what you do? It's just a job, I do it for money. It's my passion, I do it for myself. I don't want to talk about work. Yes, because this is what the lady, the lollipop lady asked first. Or kind of was talking about. Um, oh my. Well, this is what I want. It's my passion. I do it for myself. He smiles uncertainly. I think you're really lucky. To feel that, to feel like that about your work. He seems like he's about to say something else, but then he looks down instead. Anyway, I'll let you get on your way. As you go, you think about your work. You wonder if you're happy doing what you do. But you push the thought aside. It doesn't matter anymore. Not with what you're thinking of doing. Alright, I'm walking s a, a tad slower, I believe. I really wonder what the lollipop lady is going to say. Because she's like the summary of the story, I think. And here's your sister. She knows you better than anyone. And so, of course, she hates you. So, I fucking failed to finish, just like you probably thought I would. I told you you needed to work harder, it's okay, it's just an essay. No, you didn't tell her to work harder, or it's okay, it's just an essay, those both really don't. I told you you needed to work harder, I'm going, I'm going with the douche, going with the douche. Well, I guess it's not like I make it, like I made an overambitious branching narrative for a games jam and accidentally deleted the second day conversation, she coughs. That would be embarrassing. That again, huh? Yeah, I'm sure I'm glad that did not happen. Anyway, enough about me. Today's the big day, isn't it? I'm really excited. You should have quit this job ages ago. I'm really proud for you finally doing it. I won't have to do this walk anymore, I guess. I can finally focus on my dreams. I'm gonna pick the other option. I wouldn't have to do this walk anymore. Knock him dead. She pats you on the shoulder awkwardly and as you walk off, you feel closer th to your little sister than you ever have. Alright. Okay, okay. 
Now what about you, lollipop lady? What do you have to say to me? The lollipop lady seems to be waiting for you. So, you've been talking? You're really weird. Yes, she states and moves on. The policeman, for example, you've been talking to him a great deal. It's none of your business. Why do you even talk to him? Why do you even talk to me? I'm bored. But have you not noticed how the very sky alters as you communicate? How feelings change the cosmos? Oh yeah, I can control the weather, no biggie. You have powers beyond imagining. Powers that could be harnessed for my dread lord. Never. I'm just picking the opposite of what I just picked. You will pay for your insolence, the lollipop lady purse. But we are patient. We will wait. I'll stop you. But you can't. The game jam is out of time. You will forever remain in that building. Forever trapped in this world. Shit. That's depressing. Well, I don't think your job title has been mentioned at any point. Would you like to choose that? What would you want to be? I'd like to be Tracer from Overwatch. You say goodbye to the lollipop lady, servant of dark powers, call blimey governor. Call blimey governor. Okay, your work sure is a slap and a tickle. Cheers love, you squeal. I'll be putting the kettle on then. There's a sense of deja vu. And you think you deserve this. Okay, yeah, I believe those are Tracer quotes. I don't know, I haven't played the game myself yet, but you know memes all right okay i'm gonna try this one more time and i'm gonna see what happens when you're late for work because that timer takes a while to run out but i have patience i can wait so let's see okay this is just back to the menu i'm gonna go to work and i'm gonna wait for that timer to run out now that's gonna take a while so i will see you in a second I have to wait here because I cannot actually close out of the game because it will just pause and not continue. So I actually have to just sit there and patiently wait. That's almost over. Was this your idea, Greg? You're breaking my balls, Greg. I'm sorry, Greg. <laughs> It's not even raining at this moment. I don't know if it really matters, but it's almost there. I really expect the world to explode or something like that. And... You were late. Day two. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um... What if I wait again? What if I'm late again? Will that... Will that matter? Okay, fine. I'll wait again. Fine. Why, Greg? Why? <laughs> no, it's my own choice. It's my choice to play the game. It's my choice to wait. It's mine. At some point, the music brings you into some type of trance. Or maybe that's just the drugs I took. Anyway, almost there. Almost there. Is a tiny sliver bit of time left? You were late. Day three? Is it day three? Is this gonna endlessly loop the days? I just walk past him. I don't even talk to him. Oh god, I don't know if I should wait longer, but I walk very slowly right now. Well, figures, I just spent two days necrotizing my legs by the side of the street, but... I can't talk to anyone. That's weird. What about the lollipop lady? Not even the lollipop lady. The end. Really? 
Okay. So you can't even talk to people on day three. Will it just keep looping days until you eventually decide to walk to the end of the street? Okay, well, anyway, that was British weather. I'm sure there are a few more options to explore, um, which I'm not going to do right now because it's supposed to be a five-minute game and I got like 45 minutes of footage here and I want to leave something uh, for you to explore. I will leave uh, a link down in the description if you want to see that, by the way. If you find anything interesting, let me know. I might actually revisit it if you find something very interesting. But anyway, I think it's a cute little game. I really don't understand the... Um, if there's like a big meaning behind it. I mean, I don't know if they were actually trying to tell you that your actions have a bigger effect. Maybe not directly the weather because that's a bit floaty, but you know, it might have effect on how people behave and how people act towards you. So something like that, maybe. Let me know what you think of this game. I think it's quite an interesting concept. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Again, I'll leave a link down in the description for this game for you to play if you want to. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.